Many dreamers come to the U.S. for new opportunities and for DACA recipient Suni Santana, this restaurant was his dream of one day opening his very own taqueria. Uh, I used to own a restaurant uh, downtown in Phoenix. So we needed a chef and lo and behold, here comes Zuni wearing a three-piece suit straight out of college applying for a position as a chef. Santana grew up in Monterey, Mexico and moved to the U.S. and originally wanted to play professional soccer. But when his circumstances started to change, he realized sports wasn't going to work out. Well, in my mind, there was like, okay, you know, at one point I was like, okay, what am I going to do in my life? You know, I want, I want to be someone and I want to, whatever I do, I want to love what I do. He really liked cars and says cooking was actually at the bottom of his list of things he wanted to do. The name of the restaurant is named after his mother, Consuelo, whose nickname is Cello. I used to spend a lot of time in the kitchen, you know, with my grandma and my mom, and eating a lot, you know, and trying different things, different foods. And so I was like, okay, you know, one day the, the guys from the Cordon Bleu uh, went to Central High School. Once Santana realized his love for cooking and dreamed to open his own restaurant, the rest is history. And he just kept on saying to me, one day, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open up my own restaurant. I'm going to open it. I'm going to do it. It feels, it's just exciting, you know. It, it, we get excited that when you come to Taco Cello and say, it's, okay, it's, it's, it's there, you know. Yeah. It's not in our heads anymore. It's... Santana is very religious and thanks God for everything that has made the restaurant possible. In Phoenix, I'm Jimmy Jackson.